Namaste, my beautiful queens uh, and kings, if some, any. This is very important video, important, uh, important subjects I want to discuss here. A very important subject, which if you do not know uh, this subject, I'm going to use this little thing right here. If you do not know this subject, then you can uh, be, unfortunately, in the uh, position of stagnation, position of hangman for sometimes years to come. So this is important to know. This is not just about Twin Flames dynamic. This is about the karmic soulmates dynamic as well, because um, it depends on how ancient uh, you are. If you have uh, lived with your karmic soulmate hundreds of lives, then of course your um, your uh, vibrations and the what you feel to each other will be very similar to TFs. Well, not very similar. You see, the, the thing is that why it is much better when you're dealing with a karmic soulmate because... Um, TFs have the world on their shoulders, pretty much. Uh, lots, we cannot walk away. This is the, uh, the work which has to be done. Actually, this video I am doing right now. The book I have written. The other videos I am uh, doing for you, except for those with, with the cards. Even into those, I try to put some important information. This is my work as a twin flame. Work of a twin flame is rising the vibration. Work of a twin flame is expanding consciousness, collective consciousness, your consciousness. Of course, uh, uh, this is while I'm working with you, I'm also working with myself. So um, I have touched already. Uh, I have touched already the subject of acceptance, why it is important. This is something I want to talk about. But uh, I want to uh, give you an example how uh, how the karmic situation may repeat itself over and over and over again and why it is so important not to be afraid or scared not to allow any fear like this card fears and doubts to stop you so you don't have to repeat the same cycle over again uh, brilliant example, brilliant. Imagine you are about to take a trip. So you come to airport, you come to airport with your luggage, you give your luggage, you get into the airplane, airplane flies for 15 minutes, turns around and uh, comes back to the same airport and they tell you, okay, you have arrived, this is it. And you are gonna be like, wait, wait a second, I wanted to experience new lands. I wanted to experience new countries, new people, new faces, new places. What are you talking about, I'm done? But they tell you, well, we, well, actually, you know, um, uh, we, we, we decided that you didn't wanna come out. We decided that you decided it was uh, somewhat more safe to stay in an airplane. So this is it. This is how many of us live our life. When we are in the dimensions of spirit, we can expand, we can grow only while having this physical body. So we come, each life is that trip to Europe, visiting 25 countries. Each life we come to experience, to learn, to see the new faces, some, some of the old faces as well, of course, but in different bodies. We need to expand, to rise, to, to go higher, to develop ourselves. Each life is this trip to Europe or to Asia. But what many of us do, we get into the airplane and we fly. And then we stay inside of the airplane. We get afraid. We become scared of something or something or something or something. So we don't do what we have come to do. And then we have to come again and try to do it again. 
This has to be done. The lessons have to be learned. The debt have to be paid, so on and so on. But uh, when you rise your vibration, of course, out of fears and doubts, then when you, of course, can uh, rise also, re remove, so-called remove or erase or improve your karmic situation with many people in your life. So I already explained to you the basket uh, phenomenon that we come from life to life pretty much with the same people we, we had in the previous lives. I'm not going to go into it so of course karmic soulmates um, those of you who have dozens of lives those of you who have hundreds of lives if uh, one of the goals one of the reasons why you have come into this life to meet her or to meet him to make things right it would be very similar to TFs who have come not just to meet each other but to extremely transform each other and then uh, transform the vibration on the planetary level and the level of many and many people but uh, what unites uh, karmic twin flames and what unites uh, twin flames uh, I already said the difference the twin flames pretty much have a world on a shoulder if one of them uh, walks away one of them in my case mine uh, he makes his choice he says okay I'm not gonna do this then I have to do this and uh, it's not something I can say thank you very much I don't want to do I'm gonna walk away all I do is this uh, twin flame job I'm employed by universe as a twin flame my book, my articles, uh, my videos, everything in me. This is all the job I am doing and I'm hoping that I will be able to do it in a bigger scale, but um, I do what I can at this point. So what um, what is similar in both TFs, Twin Flames and Karmic Soulmates? Uh, those words, something is wrong with me. I feel it, I know it, I do not know what it is. If that is something you have experienced, then you know what I'm talking about. From very childhood, some of you from youth, some of you throughout your life, uh, sometimes you get these thoughts, something is wrong with me, I feel it, I know it, but I don't know what it is. So I do not know what it is, is that exactly that someone you need to find or they need to find you, you need to find each other in this life because something between you two needs to happen and something needs to be set right. If it's karmic, he's done something wrong to you, you've done something wrong to him or you've done something wrong to each other, you've been put together and until you have uh, you have been put together you are going to have it something is missing uh, I didn't write it here something is missing very interesting that uh, many of uh, TFs are um, many of TFs achieve uh, incredible things in life because uh, all the TFs are very talented but again this is true about karmic soulmates as well very talented very gifted and what can happen sometimes that this is a grown-up person let's say man a grown-up man who has a tremendous career who has beautiful uh, I don't know house uh, somewhere on the south of Italy or France who has multi-million dollar income who has a beauty pageant winner wife uh, seven beautiful kids he can have it all and still he's gonna have something missing in him in his life and he's not gonna be able to grab it until he meets you or you meet him he's not going to be able to grab it he's not going to be able to actually explain it and it causes in them since early age sometimes childhood causes this unexplainable sadness feeling of lost sometimes even um, depression and uh, 
causes very often the very typical for insomnia is the thing what is written on twin flames forehead it's just like a uh t-shirt that if you see a man wearing or a woman wearing a t-shirt saying insomnia on that uh in commas you can put twin flame there because in twin flames are insomniac severely and it's like okay i'm gonna take uh, some of this chamomile tea some honey i'm gonna count all the ships and it's just there because the soul is not in peace until that soul is with other other part of it uh the half of it or um if it's a karmic soulmate it's going to be much less severe but um it's still going to be there so um what happens next what happens next when actually uh you two meet each other uh, the scary thing the scary thing that sometimes uh, sometimes what happen especially with the men when when we are talking about female when talking about divine feminine us of course we are connected to our divine part and to the source of course we don't so severely fight uh, and suppress something which goes against our logic i am illogical completely uh, if you take the earthy logic you don't don't try to find it in me um, so um we don't suppress we don't fight it we feel it in we we feel that vibration in every fiber of our soul of our existence we go for it can you imagine how brave we are because uh, most of men don't go for it because they are afraid to be denied they are afraid to you have to have courage to put your heart on on your palms like this and give it to uh, another being because he can throw it he can uh, you know throw it on the floor and he can break it to little tiny pieces he can throw it back to you he can deny we are extremely powerful because very often men can consider our ability to love they consider it as a weakness uh, but it's actually our power it's not weakness at all you have to be brave you have to be uh, extremely strong and powerful not to be afraid to give your heart to someone who can you know do whatever he wants with with your heart uh, so, uh, but what happens to uh, very often to divine masculine girls, uh, I've, I've seen it. I have myself two clients who went to a psychologist, then to a psychiatrist, and actually went into therapy and started to take pills. Those, those scary, scary psychiatric pills, which if you start, you're pretty much on them for the rest for, uh, of eternity. Um, because they, they are extremely, de I've, I had seen it, I had seen it. There. Nothing scares me more than those uh, tranquilizing the, the psychiatric pills. It, it's just really, it just, it's just so scary, makes me tremble. I'd rather take ashwagandha and, you know, St. John Worth and chamomile. I would never touch those uh, because I had seen people who are on them. They are either hyper or, or down or hyper or down. They take a pill, they're hyper and happy. They don't take a pill there it's really terrible I, i've seen it i worked with several people like this i would never go into that so but a man man tries to um find logic in it so he first at the beginning in his life something is missing something is wrong i feel it i know it something is wrong what it is i do not know then a life puts him together with karmic soulmate or with a twin flame much worse twin flame i had seen a man um i already told you this story before a man has a family successful career two kids he writes books he goes to conference he goes to conference comes after dinner in a little park Park in Canada, um, a woman stands, turned her back to him, talks over the phone. Uh, she turns to him, looks into his eyes. This is it. His life goes, collapses. His old life collapses. Just one look in the eyes. She keeps on speaking on the phone. This is it for him. For a year, man visited several psychologists, then psychiatrists, then. Uh, 
was taking pills but was smart enough to get off of them suddenly finally he got into esoteric started to read started to uh, try to figure out not through the prism of logic and uh, that's how he found out he was a tf uh, of course, uh, this is untreatable. Men, some it's not uh, it's not treatable with uh, pills. It's not treatable with nothing. The twin flame connection or even a karmic connection, it's through millennia. You cannot do nothing about it from the point of view of logic. So then goes. I'm not going to go, girls, right now into dynamic of runner chaser denying accepting we've all been through this divine feminine also been through this of course but masculine is mostly in denial or running or something like this now we will talk about situation when divine masculine knows who you are okay he knows who you are. He understands who he is. He understands who you are. He no longer runs away from the truth because he's not stupid. Twin flames are not stupid. And uh, now imagine this. It's already been uh, maybe years. It's already right now at this very moment. Uh, he knows. Let's imagine he knows, or maybe it happened for you uh, some time ago, he knew. So let's do that. He knows. After he knows, now I know what it was, exactly what was wrong with me, what was missing in me. Uh, uh, now I know because I have a house, I have a, a multi-million dollar supermarket business, I have seven children, I have friends, I have designer clothes, but something is missing. Finally, he knows what is missing or you know he knows. Now I know what it was. It was her or him, but I cannot follow her or be with her because there he finds himself excuses because this, 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 or her. Okay. The bottom line, the bottom line is I already told you, he chooses to be away from you. He chooses to stay away from that everything you have, you both have come for. You both have come for a certain work, for mission, for, for everything you have come for. But he says, no, I'm not going to. And I already told in a previous email, in a previous email, in a previous uh, video that yes, absolutely you have to respect his choice you cannot force him to choose you you cannot make him choose you you cannot run after him you cannot chase him you cannot do this uh, so he had made his choice now you you what you do as a result of his choice so you already know for sure, for example, you know, I know for sure this is it. This is the way it is. This is the way it is. So next comes sadness, depression, insomnia, feeling lost, everything we were dealing with. And unfortunately, that terrible thing, waiting and positioning five of cups. Five of cups, waiting, hoping and denying uh, denying, denying that uh, you are, you start telling yourself this cannot be, but but this cannot just end like this. A story like this can just end like him just walking away. This is wrong. This is not right. No, something will happen. No. Okay, these are unfortunately just uh, something which will prolong your agony. The acceptance. What you must understand is the sadness, depression, insomnia, feeling lost is a part of your transformation, your transformation. He, he refused. He made his choice. Respect his choice. Let him go. Let him go. Wish him well. Wish you all the most beautiful things in the world, uh, my love. Just uh, be happy. Be happy. Uh, be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. You are done. You must accept his choice. He's not going to be with you. You're not going to be together. You're not going to change the world. You're not going to well make a world a better place. So on and so on. Now you are on your own. Mistakes that many of you do, including myself, 
you refuse from any life uh, outside of twin flame dynamic because um, this is this is something um, of course I don't force you to go jump into relationship I am telling you that um, many of us uh, because I've said this uh, uh, about three years ago uh, you know if it's not him then it's not gonna be nobody you know if it's if it's not him that then that's it I'm, I'm gonna be alone I'm gonna be with my books with my you know my little things uh, and this is like you are pretty much put yourself in a cave you put yourself in a cave you stop living while he he lives his life he meets his friends he probably has romances with other women or maybe he gets married three times gets divorced three times uh, he works he creates he, he lives his life so while he lives his life you are sitting in a cave and uh, you know willingly refuse from living life you are getting stuck in this you are getting stuck what is the risk of it what is the risk of it it's it says right here result of acceptance of his choice sadness depression insomnia it could be only two ways girls i hope you can see it transformation of your insight first acceptance of his decision and you move on number two no acceptance no acceptance you are going to be in stagnation like this the problem is my beautiful queens you can be stuck in this for years to come right here i wrote another one acceptance i've uh, heard this technique and i've uh, i've read this technique in one of the book of one psychologist you must accept his choice stop waiting and hoping the problem is that you can stay as i already said waiting and hoping for years to come girls i know those who are more than five years more than 10 years in this life passes by and you do not want to accept his choice move on and live life so-called live life acceptance try these two things like mantra like meditation i cannot be with uh, i cannot be with him I cannot be without him. Uh, the trick your mind does to you, it doesn't take not. It doesn't pay attention to not. So it turns out to be, I can be with him. I can be without him. Does the trick. The last pronounced in your head words does the trick. I can be without him. I, but it's easy for you to do the acceptance. I cannot be with him. I cannot be without him. I cannot be with him. I cannot be without him. I cannot live with him. I cannot live without him. What happens next? This is normal. We have to go through it. Agony. This cannot be. This is wrong. We are meant to be together. We are two halves. First is going to hurt yes it is going to hurt and you have to go through this this is your transformation then sadness more sadness feeling lost so on and this you have to go through and if you want to cry don't suppress it if you suppress it it's just gonna stay there if you want to cry cry if you want to come to the shore and scream on the top of your lungs i do it i used to do it because to me, the acceptance was the toughest one. As I already told you, I'm a warrior. So I would come to the shore and I would scream uh, to the ocean and to the forces and then to him as he could hear me on another continent. Um, then that. Then it's going to be sadness, more sadness, feeling lost, so on. And the third, 
will be acceptance and moving on to new life. Acceptance will lead you out of this. Don't fight because I, um, I you see, I'm teaching you what I have gone through. Do not fight it. It's just going to go nowhere. It works temporarily. Do not suppress it. Works temporarily. Do not start to deny it or again fight it or, or fight for it or hide from the world and refuse from everything, refuse from life. Uh, uh, the, uh, my friends tell me, let's go dance salsa. I don't. I don't because there are men out there and I know how magnetic I'm for men. I do not know why. And uh, I do not know, I, you know, because I, it's not him. I do not know. I do not want nobody, so on and so on. Uh, and the life passes by and years passes by. He had made his choice. If you're not sure about his choice, if you're not sure, that he complain. I mean, uh, it's usually clear. A man uh, acts like you don't exist for uh, a year. Even if he acts like you don't exist for three months or half a year, this is clear as a day he had made his choice. But many of you keep on in, keep on staying in this, and you. Completely, it's like if you were in a cave in the middle of a desert, refusing to live life. You must accept and live life. If you're not sure, if you're not sure if he made his choice, give yourself time frame. Give yourself one month, give yourself two months, give yourself half a year. But again, if a man acts like you don't exist Within a year, even if he acts like you don't exist within six months, it's already clear. But if it's a year or more, come on, girls, this is clear. He knows who you are. He knows who he is. He had made his choice. You can spend year two, three, five, ten from now in this and then you are going to be 65 and, you know, all these years are lost. All these years are lost. I don't tell you go to the bar, pick up the guy, bring him home, have sex with him. I don't tell you this. Just do not refuse from life. They are inviting you for, for dancing salsa. Go! They're going to be men flirting with you, uh, asking you to a date. Go have a date. Nobody forces you to sleep with this man. You, you are invited for a cruise to a Europe. They're going to be lots of men. Go. You are not and don't make a nun out of yourself. Don't make a hermit out of yourself. Go and enjoy life. Do what you love. Do what you enjoy. He refusing from you and from the mission and from the sacred love and from the union and from all this. This is his choice. He chose it. He chose it. Just let him be. You, you need to live life. Enjoy life. I already lost uh, years. Years, many, many years of my life. Because the thing is, I went into hermit mode before I, uh, well, my story is long. Uh, before I actually knew who he was, where he was, before we met each other in physical world, uh, I put myself in a hermit mode approximately um, six years before. I've met him before I knew who he was. I already put myself in a hermit mode. Of course, I had a severe hermit mode uh, after, after I knew who he was. But this was my freedom. Acceptance. Yes, 
yes acceptance you know caused the first it caused agony this cannot be that it cannot be just this way it cannot end this way such beautiful story it, it could inspire millions it could have opened up so many doors it could be such a well it didn't happen acceptance then sadness more sadness lost why am i leaving why am i well, I leave. this is my motto was walking along the shore why am i without you why what for what the sense acceptance then said the, the agony then sadness then you fully accept it and go and dance salsa and go with friends to Europe and go celebrate Christmas in New York. There will be men, there will be people, there will be events. Do hobbies, enjoy life, but only after you fully accept that fact. Okay, I can not be with you, but I can be without you and still be happy. Then you will be able to move on and live your life to the fullest instead of being in this mode. You got to do this. Walk away, accept, move on, move out of this and enjoy life. Namaste.